Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, Meghan Markle, our favorite ex-royal turned Hollywood humanitarian, struts into Colombia like she's walking the red carpet at the Oscars. She's got her tire in her carry-on, probably her duchess smile plastered on, ready to sprinkle some royal fairy dust on the unsuspecting people of Colombia. But hold on to your empanadas, folks, because Colombia's Vice President Francia Merckx is about to serve Meghan a slice of humble pie so big it could feed a small country. Now, let's set the scene. Meghan and Harry touch down in Colombia, probably expecting a welcome fit for, well, royalty. Instead, they get Vice President Merkez, who apparently didn't get the memo about bowing and scraping to former working royals. Merckx takes one look at Meghan and decides, nah, I don't think I will. And then, YouTube fam, it happens, in a moment that'll go down in history as the great royal reality check of 2024. Marx looks Megan dead in the eye and says, Welcome to Columbia, Mrs. Markle. I must say, you're not a duchess here. I mean, can you imagine? It's like showing up to a Halloween party in your best princess costume, only to have someone tell you, Nice try, but that tire looks like it came from the dollar store. The second-hand embarrassment is so strong, I think I felt it all the way over here. Poor Meghan's face probably dropped faster than the ratings of a reality show without drama. And Harry? Oh, bless his ginger heart. He tries to jump in like a knight in shining armor. Madam, she is the Duchess of Sussex, he says, probably thinking. I didn't leave my royal life behind to have my wife disrespected like this. But Merquez, she's not having any of it. Not in my country, she isn't. She fires back, probably while adjusting her imaginary crown. I swear, if Sass were a superpower, Marx would be the Colombian Wonder Woman. Now, here's where it gets really juicy. This little exchange goes viral faster than a cat video on a slow news day. Suddenly, everyone and their abuela is weighing in on whether Meghan should be called a duchess in Colombia. It's like the world's most bizarre Twitter poll, but with diplomatic consequences. Merquez, bless her heart, doubles down harder than a blackjack player with a good hand. She's out here giving press conferences, basically saying, We're Colombia, not Colombia-Lombia. We don't bow to anyone, not even if they've got a Tyra and a British accent. And you know what? The people of Colombia are eating it up like it's the last plate of Bandia pays it in the world. Meanwhile, Buckingham Palace is probably having a collective aneurysm. They release a statement that basically says, How dare you not respect our Duchess? It's like watching your grandma try to use the do you know who I am card at a nightclub. Honey, they know. They just don't care. But wait, it gets better. The tour goes on, and it's like watching a car crash in slow motion. Meghan and Harry are trying their best to keep calm and carry on, but Marcus is out here playing how many times can I not use the word duchess. It's like a very polite, very passive-aggressive game of chicken. At one point, they're at this fancy state dinner, probably thinking, okay, surely here they'll treat us like royalty. And then Marquez stands up and basically says, we're here to celebrate Colombia, not to kiss royal behind. The room erupts in applause, and I swear you could probably hear Meghan's dreams of a triumphant tour shattering like a drop tea set. Now, I've got to hand it to Meghan. She's trying to keep it together, but you can see the cracks in that million-dollar smile. It's like watching a beauty pageant contestant realize her dress is unzipped on stage. And Harry, he's looking more uncomfortable than a vegan at a barbecue. The whole thing snowballs so fast, Meghan and Harry end up cutting their trip short. They're probably thinking, we left the royal family for this. As they're leaving, Meghan's overheard saying, I'm not a duchess, I'm a human being. And I'm thinking, honey, in Colombia, you're barely even a tourist at this point. But here's the real tea, YouTube fam. This whole debacle isn't just about titles and protocol. It's about power, identity, and the lingering effects of colonialism. Merckx is standing up and saying, We're not your subjects, we're your equals. And you know what? Good for her. Because let's be real, Meghan and Harry can't have it both ways. They can't step down as working royals, move to California, 
sign Netflix deals, and then expect to be treated like royalty wherever they go. It's like quitting your job at McDonald's but still expecting free Big Macs for life. And Megan, bless her heart, needs to read the room, or in this case, read the country. Colombia has a rich, complex history, and they're not about to roll out the red carpet for someone just because she used to be on suits and married a prince. It's like showing up to a quinceanera in a wedding dress. Wrong event, wrong crowd, wrong everything. But you know what the saddest part is. There could have been some real good done here. Meghan and Harry have a platform. They have influence. They could have used this trip to highlight real issues, to make a real difference. Instead, it turned into a circus about titles and protocol. So, what's the lesson here, YouTube fam? Well, for starters, maybe do your homework before you visit a country. Know your audience. Understand the cultural and political landscape. And most importantly, check your privilege at the door. Because at the end of the day, a title is just a word. It's your actions that define you. And right now, Meghan and Harry's actions are speaking louder than any duchess or prince ever could. So, what do you think, YouTube fam? Was Marquez right to stand her ground? Should Meghan and Harry have handled it differently? Or is this whole thing just a tempest in a royal teacup? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more piping hot takes on royal drama and international incidents. Remember, folks, in the grand scheme of things, whether someone calls you duchess or missus is about as important as what color socks the queen wears. But hey, as long as they keep giving us this kind of entertainment, I'll be here, your friendly neighborhood critic, ready to break it all down for you. So stay tuned, my friends. Because if there's one thing I've learned from watching the Royals, it's that the drama never stops, and neither do I. Until then, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the Royal family. Thank you.